Hey, I'm Edward McEachern, the Chief Medical Officer for the Pacific Source Health Plans. And today I've got one of our esteemed colleagues with us, Tiffany Jones, who's a pharmacist who works with us. And we're going to talk about flu vaccine. Tiffany, introduce yourself a little bit. Hi, my name is Tiffany Jones. I'm a senior clinical pharmacist with the Pacific Source Pharmacy Team. I'm so glad to be here with you. Wonderful to have you here. Um, so Tiffany, uh, you know a lot about flu vaccines. Tell us why in the world would anybody want to get a flu vaccine? Because the flu happens to everybody. It's in every community, everywhere, and it is still deadly. So there's vaccines that can prevent this from spreading in our communities, and it's something simple that we can do to protect everyone. It's a great answer. It, it seems to me that uh, the, the, kind, the number of people who get uh, the flu are about the same as the number of people who have been hospitalized by COVID in the past year. Is that right? That's very true. So because we're so accustomed to living with the flu, sometimes we forget that there are those in our communities who there are young children, there are parents, there are grandparents, anybody over the age of 65, anybody who has is immunocompromised, and those who are around us every day, we may or may not know or at serious risk of, be, of having complications from the flu and possibly dying. Well, that's, uh, dying is a is a real thing for the flu. There's a lot of people who've died. Um, tell me about the flu vaccine. Some people, you know, uh, have gotten a little jittery because the COVID vaccine was developed so fast. I think the flu vaccine has been around a minute. Uh, what do you know about that? The flu vaccine has actually been around since 1945. So to say the least, we've kind of honed the process. They do come out with a new flu vaccine every year that targets the strains that are actually in our community. So we've gotten really good and the vaccines that we have are really safe. They're, they're, it, let's uh, say I get a flu vaccine. Can I get the flu from that vaccine? No, you cannot get the flu from any of the vaccines that we have. It, and that's because it's a, a, uh, it's a dead virus that they put in your body to evoke an immune response. And so they're not giving you a live virus. They're giving you something that your body recognizes as the flu, but it's not the flu. Is that right? Exactly. So by doing that, we better prepare our, ourselves and our bodies and our communities to deal with when the flu inevitably presents itself during that season. Yeah, it is, it is a seasonal disease. And one of the things that I think you, you'll probably tell us is, you know, why is it that I should, if I, I'm pretty healthy, why should I get one? And I suspect you're going to say something like, well, the more people who get the flu vaccine, the less, the less hosts the flu has. Is that right? Yes. So it's all about protecting our communities. Really, the more people that are vaccinated, the less chances the flu has to spread in our community. And although you may not know it, you I would bet that most of us know a significant number of people who are actually at very high risk. There's a lot of people in our communities who, through use of medications like for asthma and COPD and immune conditions, have lived relatively healthy lives. There are coworkers, there are our teachers at school, there are the children that our kids go to school with. They're in our communities every day, and we owe it to one another to help protect each other. Well, that's a great answer. So uh, where would I go to get a flu shot? So we can actually get it in a multitude of places. This year with everything that COVID has brought for a lot of our healthcare facilities, we want, to, want people to keep in mind that anywhere you can get the flu vaccine is the best place. So not only can you get it at in-network facilities, at your provider's offices, so your regular doctors, your specialists, but you can also get it at your Department of Health. A lot of places have flu clinics going on. So that's not just, you know, your regional healthcare providers, but that's also your neighborhood grocers are also putting on a, a lot of flu clinics just to make sure that the members of their communities are taken care of. And when's the best time for me to get one? The earlier, the better. So they typically come out and are available at the beginning of September. Okay. And, and usually flu season kind of kicks in by Halloween, right? Yes. Definitely. I've got a couple more questions. Uh, how, how effective is the flu shot in preventing flu? So it varies from year to year. We want to say on average, we would like to go for better than 40%, but it varies because the strain of the flu that is circulating varies every year. And we change the vaccine to match that, to try to better protect our communities. 
But even if it's not an exact match, having some exposure to the flu antigen helps your body make antibodies to the flu. And so it's not for nothing, right? Exactly. So some protection is always going to be better than none. And it is going to lessen the likelihood that you end up hospitalized or with severe complications or pass it on to someone else. Fantastic. So uh, will the flu shot help me uh, prevent COVID? Unfortunately, it will not. Those are different viruses. And so it is possible for you to get both COVID-19 and flu at the same time. So it is important that you're vaccinated against both conditions. That's, that's good information. Uh, where else could I get information about the flu and the flu vaccine? We recommend the CDC website, the Center for Disease Control. They actively update their websites all throughout the year. And as the new vaccines come out for the, every season, they have all the information pertaining to that, including what you should do if, you, if you're questioning whether you should get the vaccine or if you have unique allergies and what to look out for in each vaccine. Well, that's all great, good information. What else would you tell us about the flu before we sign off? I would say don't underestimate it. Just because it's always been there doesn't mean that this that it's not deadly. Wonderful. Thank you, Tiffany, for spending a little bit of time with me today. Uh, Edward McEacher and CMO for Pacific Source Health Plans with one of our esteemed pharmacists, Tiffany Jones. Thank you so much. Thank you.